Hey, beautiful wig sisters. Um, I'm here tonight. It's late. It's not very late, but it's 7.23 at night, so lighting is, sucks and all that. But um, I want to do an addendum to what I said yesterday about my curly, curly product use and what I used on my wigs and the curly, super curly ones. And I said I would not use them on my expensive, totally synthetic wigs. Today, I have a caveat to that. Um, I don't know if you know that I bought Finn, this wig, from Leanne moons ago when she first went into business. It was my, I don't know, second, maybe third wig. I hadn't... Uh, probably maybe the second or third week she was selling <laughs> and um, so I bought this fin from her and when I got it it was not as red as I had hoped and also as it looks on camera when you show a wig on camera it shows a lot of red in it and there's not always that much red in it this starts out with the color 30 but I think it's 30, 27, 26, or something like that, 30, 28, 26, something. But it's not really, I mean, 30 is really, really dark, dark auburn, and there was no dark auburn in this. So what I did was, I um, took some furniture markers, and I colored my fin. And I mean, I laid her down on paper, took each strand and I just ran through her with a dark, a dark, um, uh, reddish, um, marker. And then also one that was a little less red, but still red. And the color came out beautiful. I have a video up, up here, uh, somewhere. And, um, it came out beautiful and I loved it. However, when you put water on the wig afterward, that it, it bleeds. And so I had to quickly clean out my white. Um, I think I washed it the first time and yeah, I washed it in my white sink and then, uh, my tub, my porcelain tub, um, had streaks down it where I had hung her upside down. So I got all that taken care of, put a bucket under and everything was cool. So the next time I got any water on her, I used a bucket. And so what happens is the color is coming out of it. <clears throat> the blonde is coming back, which I'm okay with it. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm over it and I'm okay with it and um, it looks okay and it's, I'm fine with it. Um, if I hadn't done that though, I wouldn't have learned what I've learned. And so I did learn a lot. Number one, if you want to root your hair with furniture marker, go ahead. If you want to change color with a furniture marker, don't do it. Because let me tell you, your hair will feel, after it all dries and it kind of stays in there for a minute or so or days or so, that stuff makes your hair feel crunchy and kind of tacky and kind of um, nasty and gross and pitiful and all the other adjectives you can think of for awful. It's just awful. And so I thought I had pretty much basically ruined this wig. And so there was no lost cause for me when even after I washed it, uh, it still would come back to feeling that way. So because it's not all, all the stuff's not out yet. All the markers not out yet. But um, what I did this morning, was, and I have had this on all day. I haven't touched it. I haven't run a comb through it. I haven't done anything to it. I fixed it this morning and I haven't touched it. Um, and it, it does great. I, I, so what I did was I wet her with water and scrunched her up just a little bit. And then I took... What I said yesterday I would never use in, but I did, the oil, the Too Chic oil that from Giovanni that I got on uh, Amazon, and I don't know how you would look it up. It's a blackberry and coconut oil. It's called Two, the number two, C-H-I-C, 
and it's blackberry and coconut oil. Hair oil serum is what it is for damaged hair. So I took this oil and I put it in both hands and I rubbed it together and then I just drug it through this hair. I just drug it through it and just drug it all through it and I could feel it start to um, feel good, feel better. And so I messed with that for a while. Then I took water, like I said yesterday, oil and water don't mix, except in this case it does. And I put water on my hands with the excess oil and I worked that through this hair and all that. And then I, I scrunched her, scrunched her up and scrunched her up. And I also twisted her back like this and there she's, she's staying pretty, pretty good. I did have some John Renault piece out in there before, but I don't, I didn't put any more in today. But anyway, I should stay back there. So the other thing I did was I used this uh, Argon Cream Oil Curl Defining Cream. Now, on my wig yesterday, you know, super curly, I, of course, curl defining it, I mean, it's, it's great because it just puts up, pops those curls right back. Well, this, this is like beachy waves and it's not really curly curly. So, but I thought, what the heck, you know, like, <laughs> there's nothing lost because I had pretty much ruined her already. So I put her, put that through there and everything and scrunched her and scrunched And look, look at this curl I got here. I mean, this, this curl I've got going on, I didn't have this before. I kind of didn't want to, I thought it would just flop out, but it kind of didn't. So anyway, and I've got, I've got this, this thing that's kind of whatever. This is from scrunching and doing that and from this stuff because this hair was pretty much straight. I mean, it was like, you know, kind of straight. Um, I kind of ruin it. So, uh, I'm in my quickie video room. As you know, my main bath is the regular video room with my super good setup of stacking things, my camera up on boxes and this and that, whatever, video and that. And uh, this one is where I just hang it on the lampshade or whatever <laughs> and start talking. And I don't do any editing or anything. I never do any editing, but I don't add anything to it. I don't put anything on it or anything. I just do it. So uh, this to say a quickie, I'm giving a quickie tonight for, to let you know that I will use this on synthetic. I will, and I will, um, if it needs it. I wouldn't use it on a new synthetic. Of course, who will? I just use water and turn it upside down and everything would be great. But when the fibers start getting frayed or nappy or whatever, you know, like, um, I don't know how to, what to call it, tatty. They're just tacky, tacky, that's the word. When they get tacky, and if they ever do, this thing was tacky. It was just not not sweet, soft at all. It was rough and just awful because I'd run it with that furniture coloring. So um, if I ever, I will never do that to another wig again, but if I ever uh, get to up my wig to a place where it's starting to feel rough and I don't want to uh, use steam on it for whatever reason, and I wouldn't want to use steam on this, because it's not a straight wig. It's a it's a beachy wave wig. So I would want to keep the curl, whatever curl I could. I mean, I could take it out and then put it back in. But if I can just do this, uh, use these products and do the same thing, why well, got all that work? So, and besides that, this stuff smells good. This stuff smells really, really good. And I showed you the other one yesterday of this that I used. This just happened to be the one that I grabbed this morning, but I have another one that I also, it's a bigger, a bigger bottle. And um, that I also got, I got that one at the grocery store, but it's called Bella Curls. But um, anyway, I learned something today. I'm passing it on to you because, um, you know, these wigs cost a lot of money and Sometimes we do stupid things to them, and sometimes through no fault of, of our own, they just get old. And, you know, I've kept that other girl going for two years, and um, I had that on yesterday. I wore that all day yesterday, and David said to me, you know, boy, that, that you, uh, you know, you look really, you look really cute today. I really like that wig or whatever. And I said, you know, this is my old one. He goes, your old one? And I said, yeah, this is the one I've been walking in. He goes, well, it looks like your new one. And it did. I mean, it did because I had done all that stuff to it. Um, it didn't feel exactly like my new one, but it looked like it. So, eh, you know, and that's a two-year-old wig. 
So as long as we can keep these things going, uh, that's cool because then, you know, we don't feel desperate to, um, you know, that we need have a wig emergency or whatever. I mean, I've never had a wig emergency. However, I do like to buy wigs and I will buy wigs, but I'm bad about throwing them away. I'll, I'll donate them, but I'm really bad about throwing them away. I've thrown away one wig in my entire years of wearing wigs and it's, I've worn wigs, um, a while, almost, almost 10 years, I think. So, you know, not wigs, hair, I wore extensions and things, but I started my hair journey about 10 years ago. Um, so anyway, um, that's all I want to tell you today. Uh, I am probably just going to throw this up and not do anything to it. Uh, you know, you can buy this wig from Leanne. I do want to tell you that. Leanne can get you Finn. Um, and I love Finn. And I wish they would come out with um, colors that are redder than this. This is the only, this is the reddest color they have um, in, in Finn. And it's not red. I mean, I don't know if it's coming across red on the camera. It's coming across, across a lot redder in the picture than it is in the mirror, which we've I've talked about many times. And all of y'all that have this, I think JB has this. And we she knows it's not red. So, um, you know, if they would come out with a fantabulous color, I would love to have another one of these because I love this wig. And uh, I, I'm sorry that I almost rent it, but I'm glad that it, it's back to where I can wear it and whatever. And I've had this on all day and I haven't done anything to it and it still looks good. That's the kind of wig I like. One that you put on, you don't fuss with it all day long. You don't run your fingers through it, fix it, twist it, turn it. I hate that. I hate to be messing with my wig all day, trying to keep it out of my face or just to keep it looking good. I, I don't like that. So if I have a wig like that, I usually either hardly choose it or I do something to it to make it stop doing that. And uh, this one is just, this Finn is a fabulous wig. So if there's a color uh, that you, the, in Aesthetica, I think it's Aesthetica, um, the, if there's a color that uh, you like, I'd grab one of these from Leanne because it is just, this one, my husband doesn't think is too long for me and he likes it. It's not a huge long wig. Uh, really, but it's longer than I normally wear. I probably wear them, you know, whatever, like girl mono and those kinds and um, shorter beachy waves. And um, so when I first got this one, he thought it was too long for me. Well, now he, he thinks this is great. He loves it. Of course, you know, I've been wearing a long haired wig every day since he said, I don't like long hair on you. So I've got to, I got to, I got to immerse him. Got to immerse him in it. You know, that's how it goes. All right, girls, leaving the, Quickie Video Studio, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.